my name is Tony Fox from Mrs Fox's Plans. So today what I'm going to do is I am going to start setting up my um, Sterling Inc. Uh, 2005. This is going to be my uh, health and wellness planner. And um, I think like everybody, you want to get into them early. So I am going to do these uh, year in review <clears throat> pardon me I just got this sticker kit from little Linda's um, and I will link Linda shop down below um, and it, it's a very interesting concept so year in review so what I thought I would do in this book because as I said I wanted to get into it early is in the first opening pages of the notes is put my year in review um, and mainly it's it's health and fun things so these little boxes here are uh, the months are going to go on top of them so these are the months they happened in i pre-did this so that i could um, one have a better surface to lean on two you'll notice that i've been doing some pen tests so when comes time to put these down i will talk about what pens you can use on this and um over so this is the uh, year review page and then over here you can see on my pencil marks that I've put down where I'm going to place this so I did a bit of prepping before I started so then so I'll do this part first um, then I will put in some fun things at the front and I still haven't kind of decided uh, exactly what else I'm going to do obviously I've pre-planned then written what I'm going to put in, my vision board, my health goals, my step trackers and so on. So I've got all that planned out of what I'm going to do. Uh, this calendar starts in December. So I've written here that I want to put daily highlights. So um, I think I've got some Christmas type stickers. So we may actually do a setup for December. And then the... Um, weeks start on the 30th of December so um, I got a rough idea of how I want to use these pages this is a draft I did in the back I always track the weather which if you've been following me along you know that's something I do quite often and then mapped out what I want to do uh, on this side and then whether or not I do these trackers or what I'm going to do use this page for but this page, section here, most definitely, will be the journal pages. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, if you're new here and you have never seen my hands, welcome. Um, I am a crazy Aussie girl that does planning videos, pens, all of the things we do with planning. I do do a little bit of talk about my health. I am a, a chronic pain sufferer. I've got CRPS, which is complex regional pain syndrome, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, all of the fun pain things that one person can have. And I spend a lot of time in hospital, which I'm going back in hospital on uh, Sunday for some pain treatment. Um, and sometimes i talk about living with that i do have um a video i want to film about a recent experience i had yesterday and the frustrations of dealing with doctors and things like that but this video isn't about that this video is about fun creative stuff so um if you're interested in those type of subjects then please subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification and you'll be alerted when I put up another video I've got a few videos that uh, should be coming in the next couple of days I've been madly filming now the challenge is to madly edit okay so this um, what I'm doing here now is I'm just doing the basically the title page for this these stickers and this sticker paper is amazing this is um, Linda has uh, just got this paper and it has been amazing to write on I um, 
I really love it. It's been one of the easiest papers to write on. Now it's a semi uh, gloss paper, which in the past we know in this community that that means it's actually not very uh, good with uh, to write on, but um, this paper is amazing. I will show you what I mean. So I will get out uh, a pen here. So the Hobonichi we know is ballpoint. So let's see where there's some sticker paper. So as you can see, ballpoint, easy, easy to write on. And then, um, so this is a new sign pen. I think this is actually an oil-based pen. And look at that. You, I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit glossy, so I'd be hesitant to touch it to any time soon. So if you just let that dry just a little bit. I wrote this last night and let it dry, and there is absolutely no smudging. This was me testing out pens here. So this is a ballpoint pen, the new sign pen, a cleaner pen, a fountain pen, and uh, um, that is actually the, um, oh, that's my little uh, bullet pen or penco pen. Um, and I can't believe it's this paper. So let me see, is this smudging? Look at that. No, no smudging. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but oh my goodness, it is this paper that she's used here is amazing. So that's um that's great news. So I don't know where she got this paper from, um, but it is fantastic. So I don't know if I'm going to write anything uh, on this page, or I'm just going to leave it as is. Just really putting all this beautiful little deco around. I may uh, come in and add some like butterflies. I'll grab those. So, but for the time being, that is a uh, page one. So here we go with all of these calculations that I did. Let me see if I can get this right. So we will do. So we're going to do. January. I'm gonna go with uh, February. So we might go get uh, Oh, okay, I have made a mistake. It's actually meant to be there. Let me see if I can get this paper this up. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Uh, very happy about that. Look at that's coming straight off. Okay, so another great thing is they're movable. We're both learning here. So this um uh, paper is a sticker paper is almost like vinyl paper okay January February okay, so then we've got is that right the box goes there so yeah. I'm glad I did all this prep work Still can't get it right. Yep. 
Okay, and you do. This is a great idea. This kind of just basically uh, says goodbye to this year and then hello to the next year is the way I'm looking at it. I do know that I've filled out uh, November and December and they haven't happened yet, but I've just really put in some amazing things that are happening in those months. Because just for the purpose of the getting this done. So these are not necessarily all highlights. They could be lowlights. So they're just my year in review and so what I might do is obviously might put some deco uh, through there I think, uh, mind you, when um, I was uh, writing on this paper, it, it didn't need any drying time at all. But I did want to do it overnight so that um, I could touch it without fear of smudging it everywhere. Good. Doesn't want to be out too far. I could go back in. So it's um Friday here in sunny Queensland. Beautiful day outside. I went and had my uh, hair done today, so that was nice. Then I went um, and did a bit of shopping. I got a, another pair of um, Doc Martin slides. They are so comfortable. For somebody with um, lots of chronic pain issues and obviously a lot of issues with my knees, the Doc Martens have got a nice platform shoe and they work out really well. I mean, they're very comfortable to wear, and I got a pair of slides today, so very happy with that. All right, so what I'd like to do now is probably see if I can get some more uh, stickers that match this, just to what do you think blend in, and then we'll do some deco around this. But I'm really loving this. Just hold on, I'll be back in a minute. I have this little book. Um, Michaels, and that's what I'd like to do is just put some of these little bits of deco around. Obviously, I you can see I use it quite a lot, but it's a similar kind of sticker paper. And you can tell I like it because I've used it quite a bit. Butterflies. 
no rhyme or reason why they're going where they're going. I don't think there's many, there's, I don't think I've got any more little uh, elements, so we're going to have to go with the, the bigger elements, which is fine. Um, I feel like maybe I might actually sit there and put a bigger element over here. Kind of give it a little bit of balance. Oh, look, we can put some little ladybirds. They can crawl all over. system mm -hmm. as we use them all I think these are just I love these and probably wish I had a board I might actually put this guy on land on a flower there Sorry about my dog barking, but the other half is just at home, so I should just let the other world be. Okay, um, I'm not too sure that I don't want to add some more there, but I don't know whether or not I've got the right um, to put some more large elements there. I don't know. I think I'm going to just leave it for the time being and see. I have a funny feeling I've got some of little Linda's. Um, let me just see whether I've got in her florals are more than likely to use them by now. Yeah, no, I think these are just all the and there's those. They're probably a little bit too pale. Um, they're black and white. Um, I think that might be it. Let's have a look. I think these will go because they're part of that. So what we might do now, this is the old paper that she used to use. Yeah. 
little bit bluer, I think. That's fine. We can cope with that. The colours, when she prints these up, are so vibrant. She was saying that the, um, the art, new artwork just looks so good. And as I said, as far as writing on them and using them, amazing. I just think that there was some gaps. I think there's just a little bit too pale. And if we put, um, I think we need some of this over here. Put one more over here, and then we might stop floralizing this. Okay, I think I might leave that there. And then, of course, we've got over here. I don't think I need to add anything else to that. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I've got any more critters because I think I've used them all. This is only of the stickers. These are all um, that paper. I don't, there's nothing. And they're all um, icons. So I've... <laughs> I've just about finished this book. So this, how many sheets was it? 15 sheets. So I don't think there's 15 left. So satisfying when you get to do that. Okay, this is monthly highlights. I wonder, what do you think? If you do this. sake of and wouldn't you know it the colors are just perfect okay what do you think of that I really like that that's just I'm so happy with that okay well I might stop there because I can just keep adding stickers all day and um, I think that less is more let me know what you think about this and also as i said i'll put the link for for little linda's this new paper that um uh she's using this year is so good i've got a lot of dates and months and all those type of things ready for my setups but i really like that so the only other page i was contemplating doing is uh this because this is my wellness Oh, I was supposed to put that in the middle. So do you think I should do... Or... Okay, I think I might do it that way. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this because... Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Do you ever just keep storing your stickers, especially when you're talking about little vinyls, die cuts, and, oh, hang on, that's two blues in the one spot. Um, and you just go, oh, I don't want to use that. I might save that. Well, I'm of the mindset. Number one, if you have bought this once, there's a chance you can buy it again. And if not, you can't enjoy it while it's in a sticker album. You may as well use it now. Because I get to enjoy this a whole year and saying that I keep these I keep all my journals I know I should probably and will probably get rid of them soon otherwise my children are gonna have to get rid of them all don't know what they think about that little process new 
I don't know if I've got more of these coming, but... I love it. I was thinking for this, I've got this uh, Louis Vuitton. I don't know why. It's, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful cover, and I've decided I'm going to put it... I did have it in my other cover, but I was, I'm going to use this um, A5 Slim cover that I got, a uh, Michael Kors cover. I might as well use it. I've got it. Not many books will fit in it, but this fits in perfectly because it's nice and chunky. Just have to wiggle it in because this... So what do you think? I think that might go there. Another one. I've had this sticker for years. I had did this on a special order. And um, this is a vinyl sticker. If the truth be known, if I really want to use it again, on what? I don't know. I can, but I think I need an easier job because I can't unpeel it. You guys are probably yelling in the screen going, Hey, there's an easier way to do that. I mean, normally if you roll down the front, you can get them like... I can't seem to get this one to come apart. There we go. Okay, gang. Here we go. We did it. Why are you not focusing, camera? And how long have you been out of focus? Look at that. Just push it back out. Come on, focus. What is your problem? Very happy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think I'm going to laminate this. This has actually got the calendar on the back. So I'm going to laminate it. I've got here birthdays, so what I might do is put dots on all of the little birthdays and write whose they are here, then laminate it. And then that can be like a pencil board. I do have my uh, Traveller's Town one, so I've got that already. And I think we are done. Well, that's it from me. Thank you very much. If you've uh, lasted this long, you're a champion. And, um, yeah, if you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you really, really soon. Ciao for now. Bye.